Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to the garden again. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about watering the garden. So most people would say they know how to water. Many years ago, I worked in flower shops. I did that for multiple years and I've worked in landscaping. Well, the very first time I ever worked in a flower shop, the first thing they asked me was, do you know how to water? And I thought, are y'all crazy? I know how to water, but I didn't. Once they showed me how to do it properly, I realized I really didn't know how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you, for those of you who have questioned that, and I'll show you in the ground, in planters and in pots, the proper way to water to where you're gonna get the most out of your vegetables. So, I mean, you've spent the money on them, you've spent your time on them. This is gonna help you get the most out of your investment. So, yep, let's get started. You're over here by the tomato plants, and this is a planter. You can see it's a fairly deep planter. I mean, it's not, it comes up to my knee. So how I would water this, is I'm literally going to flood this area. Just like that. And I'm going to imagine what it might look like under the dirt and how long it would take for this water to soak down all the way to the ground. Tomatoes want a lot of water. They like to be watered deep. And when you water your plants deep like this, which is letting the water go really deep and just flooding it, it's causing the roots to go deep, which is gonna make your plant stronger, more stable, and a lot healthier. And it's gonna produce more for you. So probably about right there is where I would stop. But that is completely saturated. It's watered really deep and it's not just a little drink of water. It is fully soaked in. They got a really good, good drink of I've water. Got some apple mint and I'm gonna show you how to water in a pot. So before I even turn this on, notice this right here, the little drain area. That is where I am going to watch. I'm gonna turn my, my hose on and start filling it up. See how it's dripping under there already? That's what you want. I really flooded this pot until the water ran out the bottom. That's what you want. That's how you're going to know you've watered the pot sufficiently. Okay, here is a Josta berry and he's in a little pot. You're going to flood the pot. Yeah, I'm just like overly flooding it. I should be able to see water. Here it comes. Can you see the water running out right there? That's what we want. That is how you know you've watered properly. So what about this kind? Can't really see the drain holes. So I'm just gonna water. And I'm gonna watch the side boards. See the water running out? See that? That's what we want. 
Okay, so what about a hanging pot? With a hanging pot, you're going to just start flooding it. And you can see all of the water is just running out. And that's fine, you just keep watering until you see the water coming out the center of the bottom of the pot. So most people would have stopped by now, but that's not what you want to do. Okay, I can tell. You see it's running out of the bottom, the drain. That's what you want. So here's another one. A little bit easier to see. You can actually feel the pot. Um, if it's a pot on the ground or something, you can pick it up and feel it. And if it doesn't feel heavy after you water it, if it doesn't feel heavier after you water it, you might need to water it some more. Just completely flood the plant. And if you know if you don't want it splashing, you can just stop for a minute, let that water drain. Fill it up again and let it let it drain through the plant and you're just waiting for it to start running out of the bottom of the pot not the sides but the bottom okay there it goes Can you see it running out of the drain that's what we want so if it was a pot sitting you could go ahead and pick it up at this point to see if if it feels heavier and that's what you would do for your house plants pick it up and feel it and see if it feels heavy a lot of times it might run out the bottom for a house plant but still need a little bit more water so I'm down here in my circular garden right here you can see I've got an artichoke and I let this artichoke flower um, I do it for the pollinators and I'm gonna show you how to water something in the ground so I'm actually just going to lay the hose right at the base of the plant and let it run for a couple of minutes at least. So when you're watering in the ground, you look at the size of the plant. I'm squatted down here by the ground. You look at the size of the plant and you think the root system might be at least a third of the size of the plant. Sometimes the root system is the same size, like for trees, the same size as the plant. So you want to water at least a third of the size. Imagine the water going down in the dirt, water long enough to where it can go down a third of the way of the size of the plant, if that makes sense. There we have it. That is how you water your garden properly. And the same thing applies for your house plants. You can water them exactly the same way just making sure the water comes out of the bottom and you know that it is good and watered. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now.